Garrett and Leah Harrison are called to share the gospel with the Nima people in Papua New Guinea. The problem? The Nima live on the top of a mountain surrounded by thick jungle. Earlier this year, Garrett and his friend Chris Bowsman attempted to drive to the village where the Nima live. It was an adventure they won't soon forget. They left the mission center Ukarumpa and drove on a paved, pothole-riddled highway down to the Markham Valley. At 10.30, they left the highway and took the winding road up into the mountains. Chris drove carefully over the ruts, bouncing his passenger. At 1.30, the two adventurers reached the Arap River, a wide, rocky river with a small bridge made of logs lying next to each other. Chris's truck couldn't make it across the river without being swept away. They could go no farther by road. They could hike for another two hours, but hadn't come equipped for such a long, arduous walk. The name of people would have to live without the scripture in their language a little longer. It should be a pretty morning. <laughs> this is Christopher Clark, a helicopter pilot in Papua New Guinea. Yeah, the JARS training really laid a great foundation. After 19 years of flying fixed-wing aircraft in PNG, he decided to transition to flying helicopters. In 2022 and 23, he trained at JARS to make this transition. So our helicopter goes just about everywhere in the country, from the swamps and grasslands of the, the Sepik and, and southern provinces up into the mountains. We've gotten to support the Harrisons, get them out into their village allocation. The Harrisons are up in the Finisterre Mountains. There is a four-wheel drive dirt track run that sometimes is, is open, depending on how much rain and mud, and it's it's been quite wet here. Um, so we were quite pleased to be able to fly them out there. It's it's a shorter flight. I think it was around 20 minutes or so, but it would be a full day or longer uh, if they were to drive on the roads and had a good vehicle. Sometimes it doesn't go so smoothly, or there's starts and stops, and from the jump in at jars and start the training to being ready to go fly solo on the field has been a real joy, a real pleasure. 